viewers how are you i'm adeline with the nine and i would like to share on a very juicy topic one that we normally find very difficult to deal with but i want to share my personal journey on how i managed to deal with it so it's called failing forward Woo! we are excited as your viewers <laughs> <laughs> okay um as with success which is subjective to everyone in giving it their definitions so is failure mm. failure is how you define it it is also a subjective matter for me personally failure is the inability for me to rise up again and do better after every setback and not just missing the intended goal so when I say that I'm not a failure, okay. I mean that I will always rise up even after falling and I will fail forward. Wow, wow. That's like total inspiration right now. <laughs> My story goes, I have experienced many encounters, some may label as failure, but to me were setbacks and managed to rise up and try again and fell forward wow. i applied for the provisional license in 2016 yes, yes i i took the provisional license i got the provisional license and i now had to do the actual road test mm -hmm. after about 40 plus lessons yes. i can totally relate to my that story. first <laughs> experience was so messy i was so nervous more than never as if i've never attended an exam before mm -hmm. yet since grade one we have always been writing exams we have always been involved in an exam situation yes. so it was quite a different experience totally nerve-wracking for me such that i felt even before i had gone very far to those who have taken the road test before if you fail once you're still in the yard then you haven't gone very far at all literally <laughs> so that was my experience i felt even before going to the drums and the hill start no it how was, though you have to explain I was that just, <laughs> how how did you not get to the drums <laughs> as soon as i started the car i was so nervous like i said okay so i remember that i the car switched off twice before I could even go far. Oh and goodness. because I was I was so much anxious and so for me that was quite devastating considering the amounts that you pay to book and the investments that I had made taking all those 40 plus lessons. So it was quite a devastating moment for me. But because I, I, I choose to be resilient, wow. I then rebooked the very same day. Wow. And wow. someone advised me, you know what, take this later on in order. And I was like, no, I want to go out today again. <laughs> yes. Like that's how geared up I was for it. So now it so happened that when I rebooked for the test the second time, yes. You won't imagine, I didn't even start the car successfully. Mm -hmm. I didn't even manage to go any far than my first experience. Okay. Simply because I forgot to put down the handbrake. So from then, it totally shattered my dream because i was hoping during my long holiday i could get my license and yes. go to varsity when i already have a license and now considering that we were all saving up for the part one expenses and the like yes. i couldn't retake the test again yes. and already i was at a point when i say to myself i had failed it was quite devastating so how did you deal with that sort of heartbreak like on your own how did you manage to get up after that it was difficult i i was mad at myself like really how can you miss out on two attempts how can you do that after all that investment after all those hours that you spent training and 
getting prepared and only to miss it in a matter of some few minutes so it broke me for some time and if you have had that experience before some people may not actually want to go back to vid again they yeah, might I understand. not want to, <laughs> to see that place again because it brings all those memories really of memories yes, of failure exactly like it was also my first time to actually fail when i wrote my first provisional like i had never failed all my life but that was like the first time i failed it was so heartbreaking exactly and you so, you ask yourself how couldn't i just meet the target so yeah that was it for me i took a break i, wow. I took a break from from having another driving test such that that provisional license that i got expired before i had even had the actual license so i was like okay so i'm gonna have Starting to all, over, that all again. over again the yes. whole process yes. so i didn't mind uh and myself that going part three i have to achieve this goal yes. by all means i had to She's an inspiration i had to hear? choose to, to, to fail forward and just let what has happened before allow me to to just remain there you know someone once said don't let your background make you put your back on the ground wow you need to rise powerful. up and 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 try again and that's see just powerful and determine within yourself that no i'm not going to remain here but i'm going to be much better i'm going to rise up again and try harder woman of wisdom by the way <laughs> so wow. now when i got to part three i had all the chance i had all the time to go and take the provisional test mm -hmm. And fortunately enough because I didn't want to fail yes. so the thing about failing forward you need to realize what made you fail before yes. and you need to determine in your heart that it's not going to affect you again yes. because failing forward is not enough if it's with the same energy that caused you to fail, to fail. so you need a better energy than before yes. you need a, a better spirit a better vibe if i can say okay. than before so you're saying there's need for like self-evaluation to really determine what caused the failure exactly wow. you need to assess where did i get it from yes and say okay fine here is where i got it from okay. so how can i improve so that i get it right this time around yes. So that's what I did. Ah, it's too much wisdom, <laughs> you guys. I can't even take it myself. I wish I had brought my pen and paper. <laughs> I should always <laughs> like to take down things. Imagine. Yeah, at least I have it on recording so well. I can keep watching it. <laughs> yes, that, that inspires me, by the way. The, the, your habit of always taking down notes. That's quite inspiring. Thank you. Keep it up. <laughs> because what's on paper is never lost. Yes. So then uh, I took the provisional, I passed it, fortunately, then I decided to go for, for the road driving test, the actual test. First time I went there, I did everything well, except that I didn't do my parallel parking so well. Okay. I did the drums, I did the, the 3.10, I did all other things, but I missed it somehow okay. so you can imagine that thought like of that 2016 time. experience it resurfaced yes. and I was like okay what's so difficult about this I've been doing tests since ever yes. so what's so different about this particular road test yes. I couldn't blame anyone I, I I won't blame anyone it was just me I don't want to blame anyone that who so caused me to fail so i then rebooked for the second time and again i failed when i was about to go for the actual raw test after the yard test i panicked on the robots i panicked i the car switched off for for three times which is the maximum yes and uh, unfortunately that was the end of the road for me mm. wow. so you can imagine that was from september to to around november 
and I was like, okay, I'm taking a break. I I'm not doing this anymore. I'm just taking a break. Yes. I then dreamt the Lord speaking to me and he said, try again. Wow. Wow. Try again. Wow. I thought I had tried enough. Yes. I tried enough, I had done my best and I'm not doing these things for free. Every time I take a test, I am forking out some big some, money. Yes. yes. So I then said, okay, fine. As per your word. Mm -hmm. You remember the story in the Bible of Simon Peter, the fisherman. He had spent all night trying to catch fish yes. and wasn't successful. Like, I mean, for the whole night. Yes. And then when Jesus approached him, mm. when he came into his boat, yes. Jesus assigned Simon Peter to cast his nets into the deep. Yes. I can imagine the reaction of Peter. That was a similar reaction that I had. Like, seriously, dude? Yeah, like seriously. I, I've been trying to catch fish <laughs> for the whole night. You don't get me. You don't understand what I, I went mean, through. I mean, for the whole <laughs> night. And you come and you just say, cast your nets into the deep and you don't even have any experience when it comes to fishing <laughs> but we believe he is the king of kings and he knows all things mm -hmm. so i love the final response that simon peter gave he said nevertheless at thy word yes. simply because you have said it yes. so I'm, I'm doing this because you said it not because i want I to want anymore to but because you have said it i'm doing this so that uh, what happened to me and i said okay I'm going for this thought. It's, yes. it's a do or die case. Yes. I'm just going for this for one more time. So I remember before taking the road test, I cried in, in the office of the inspector. And I was like, <laughs> Oh, hey, Lady, why are you crying? <laughs> I literally. You've not even started the test. But why were you Nobody crying? Nobody said you thought, Why are you crying? crying. And I said, I'm so nervous. I, I've done this before and I felt. And I said, Stop crying. Haven't you been writing exams before? Haven't you been involved in an exam situation before? Just be yourself, relax. Yes. Try and relax. Yes. Viewers, I'd like to share with you that my testimony came on the 15th of December 2018. Oh, that's after such a long, long wow, time and wow. after so many failed attempts. Yes. So I cannot conclude those failed attempts as failure yes. but i chose to take them as setbacks for a serious comeback Ooh, and i decided to child. fight for what <laughs> <laughs> okay so how did it feel knowing that you had followed what god had said to you and then it actually came to pass like what was that feeling that you got was it a feeling of fulfillment or it was, what it was it was a feeling of relief to just imagine that really God cares. Like I remember the the last time that I felt for the fourth time actually my fourth attempt when I felt. Yes. I remember crying in my blankets and saying, Lord, I'm tired. I am I'm, I'm just tired. I, I I'm tired of failing. I'm just tired of failing. Mm -hmm. So I can imagine that uh, the Lord cares and, and He knows and he can still lift you up and say my daughter try again yes. there is more that can can happen if you just decide to emerge yes. from every setback yes. so i i felt very relieved and i was like did you where were you all this time when i was failing yes. you know why didn't you tell me then sometimes god allows us and stretches our patience mm -hmm. In all those failed attempts yes. just so that when you emerge you emerge with a serious comeback from that setback and you can truly acknowledge that had it not been for the, for Lord, the Lord where would I be yes. Yes. so every missed goal every missed target yes. is not failure yes. failure is what you decide or not decide to do after you have missed the target yes. it's when you decide to lay back and just conclude that this is it without really giving it another try to determine in your heart to say no i have felt i'd missed the target today but tomorrow 
I'm going to try right. better. Yes, I'm going to try again and I'm going to do it better than before. Ah, this is just too powerful. <laughs> Honestly, it feels like I'm talking to a different person uh, than the one that I know. Because, well, you had never shared this. So, this whole experience, what would you want to encourage all our viewers, you know, to just tell them to keep moving forward or something? Oh, yes. Uh, basically, I believe I've already said it all. And those who have ears have heard, when you miss the target, when you encounter a failed attempt, it's not the end of the road. It's just the beginning. It's just the indicator that you need to try again, but this time around with better energy and with better focus than before. Give it one more shot and try harder this time around. Try smarter this time around and do not quit. Wow. Success is meant for those who do not quit wow. but always soldier on even wow. after every lost Woo. battle child we just have to make it after this <laughs> <laughs> you go girl thank you so much my sister oh, for sharing you thank are you so amazing much. thank you, you so amazing. much for inviting me it's really exciting to have you because you're an inspiration to me like literally oh, she was my inspiration to actually get my license because she actually paid for my first professional which i failed i probably disappointed her but she yeah. kept encouraging me so she's really amazing she's a good person at heart and also she is beautiful <laughs> so thank, thank you. you so much guys thank for you. watching and today guess who's closing our session <laughs> okay <laughs> so i hope you enjoyed the video called mm -hmm. failing forward yes no more giving up let's try again let's give it one more shot mm -hmm. viewers please please don't forget to like subscribe and share Woo! like subscribe and share like like subscribe and share <laughs> it's so exciting to hear from somebody else so thank you guys i love you all see you next tuesday yay